man, these toxic guys, they've done a number on these women. These women, whenever they speak, all I hear is their, all their bad past experiences, their jaded points of view. They're guided and directed by a guy that has done them wrong in the past. This is why some of you guys keep running into problems in your dating life. Because it's very easy to hear and it's very easy to see when these women are projecting, when these women are generalizing. So recently, I'm listening to this woman. She's talking to, on a podcast, an interview, and she's just talking about cheating and being narcissistic. Are you being narcissistic? All these different types of stuff. I'm like, when she's asking these questions, she has PTSD of her ex that did her wrong, that pumped and dumped her, that of a guy, the guy that she actually loved that cheated on her, that pumped and dumped her. That's the guy she can't seem to get over. That's the trauma she can't seem to get over. So when you guys go on these dates and she has these jaded points of view and she seems a little bit attitude and has a little bit attitude towards men, it's because she's haunted by a man in her past that did her wrong. She's being guided and manipulated and emotionally stimulated by a guy that did her wrong. So when she's talking to you, she sees him. This is why she assumes that you're toxic. She assumes you're a cheater. Not knowing that is far from the truth. Absolutely as far as possible from the truth. If you put a woman's picture up. How many more simps would it be over toxic men? The simps would severely outnumber toxic men, which makes you ask another question. Do these women just subconsciously like toxic guys? Does the toxic guy just stimulate her emotions so much that she just can't seem to shake it? That's the other issue that you're dealing with. Because at this point, it just seems like penis envy. I'm just going to be real with you guys. That's what it sounds like. When it comes to these women, they automatically think you're going to cheat. And the, the messed up thing is it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's what it comes into. That's what it, it goes into. If you're worried about something, the law of attraction, the more you think about something, the more it's going to occur. See, when you hear all these different types of questions being asked to you, that's just the past speaking. Guys, I've had women do me wrong. I don't give a fuck what they're doing right now. I don't take that situation into every interaction I have with women. I'm not going to give my exes or my ex or whoever did me wrong, whatever woman in the past did me wrong. I'm not going to give them that much power for me to uh, assume and generalize that all women are a certain way. All women are bad women. So when I go on a date, I'm borderline angry because I subconsciously or, I, or I'm still thinking about the past woman that did me wrong. So I think this woman's going to do me wrong. Like we don't go out and think like that. Some of you guys do think like that because you're stuck in red pill rage. That's what they call it. You can't seem to get over the fact and accept some of your deficiencies and accept some of your um, circumstances in life. It is what it is. But... Every time I watch a dating podcast, a dating show, these women all have the same problems. And it all stems from the toxic guy taking them through the ringer over and over and over again. 
to where she's formulated and concocted in her head that all men are cheaters, all men are abusers, all men are such as that. And in reality, it's like, no, that's just the men you are attracting and that subconsciously or maybe consciously that you like. There's been guys in her life that she's come across, that she's ignored, that were good guys, that wouldn't cheat on her, that would be loyal to her. But for some reason, she's not attracted to that guy. It is what it is. And as she gets older, she looks for something more stable. See, when she was young, she likes the spontaneous guy. As a young man, you like the, the spontaneous woman, the wild woman. But as you get older, you seek more stability. That's what just what life and maturity does to you. But unfortunately, these women get to a stage where they just automatically assume that you're going to fuck it up. Because they've had so many bad experiences. And all that, all that is, guys, and when I say dating, all this comes back to is reading people. That's all this shit comes back to. If you suck at the betting process, that means you suck at reading people. And if you suck at reading people, that means there's a high likelihood you're going to get screwed over. That's how this works. So you have to develop the skill or you have to accept that whatever type you are into, which might be a toxic type, which might be a crazy type, man or woman, you're going to have to accept what comes with the territory if that's genuinely what you like. And some of this shit stems from your childhood as well. Some of these women on Instagram showing their body for attention are ne were neglected children. They never got the love from their parents. So they seek it in other places. They seek it from men, which is why they correlate sex with, with love. Which is not true. And this is how they get all these bad experiences. And these bad experiences causes them to be jaded and bitter. And you have to be careful about this because I think there's a guy, I talked about this in another video. There's a guy that said, I'm not worried about a woman's body count. I'm more worried about her love count. If she's had too many bad experiences, she's gonna run out of love to give. And that's what you're running into in some of these relationships and some of these situations. You get in the, these interactions with these women and they're jaded and they basically ran out of love to give in a relationship because their past uh, tells them to, not knowing that their past is biased. So I had to, had to come in and drop this video on you guys. You guys like, comment, subscribe, shoot the video, like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.